I've just been playing a uh, a song that was uh, that was relevant to tonight's show for the past four minutes, and uh, just realized that the sound wasn't going through on the live feed. So anyway, <laughs> apologies for that. It kind of uh, hold on a second. Let's remove this one. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm not going to be streaming from uh, this location tonight for St. John Forward Radio. You'll all miss my uh, mismatch of uh, horror nonsense on in the background. I'm going to be back at uh, local FM campus radio station. And uh, I have uh, a pretty good show planned for tonight. I do say so. It's going to be a big return to form. And um, just wanted to, uh, you know, I've, I've got an exciting guest coming up, so I wanted to spend a minimal amount of time talking about myself or talking, you know, at all. Um, I want to, I want to hear what this person has to say. And, uh, the reason, part of the reason for this is, um, we have an election coming up, uh, a federal election sometime in November, not November. That's the U S uh, sometime in September. And, uh, I've traditionally been a non-voter. Um, for various reasons, um, but primarily I do not want to participate in my own sub- subjectivity, no, subjugation, that's the word, I completely, that would have been like a powerful quote that I could have clipped out, um, but, uh, you know, I went to, uh, I went to the movies this weekend, went to see the new Candyman movie, and I, uh, I highly recommend it, um, but uh, before the movie, there was a uh, a bit of a, a PSA that um, that really got me thinking differently about um, you know voting and democracy and you know my role in it. So um, let's let's take a look at that video. Hang on a second, I gotta switch windows. So this is uh, on VoteParty.ca. Hi, I'm Rick Mercer. My name is Elena Watko. Ashley Collingwell. Michelle Morgan. Hey, it's Magic. I'm a vote team. And I'm taking my friend to vote with me. I'm helping a non-voter vote. Will you? Did you know that most young people didn't vote in the last election? If you don't vote, you don't count. Your vote could change an election. Your vote matters. Make a vote date. Make a vote date. At VoteParty.ca. And take a non-voter to vote with you. Tell two friends about VoteParty.ca. And they'll tell two friends and so on and so on and so on. So, uh, anyway, that... um, that was a very oh hang on let's stop that uh that was uh that was very compelling and uh again um not condescending at all um i it really got me thinking i didn't realize that you know if i don't vote i don't count i i'm basically not even a human being and uh i really appreciate this campaign that reaches out to me and my people and um well not directly mostly uh it's reaching out to uh the people around my people imploring them to hey these special needs non-voters they just can't get it together they just can't get it together so you need to make a vote date and you need to you need to find one of your uh one of your non-voting friends say hey you need to stop eating glue for a couple of minutes and come exercise your democratic duty and uh cast your ballot so uh i'm i'm pretty fired up about this whole thing uh i'm not very fired up about my options um you know i do do want to count i do want to matter as a human being in the society that i live in um but uh gotta say not a fan of uh of the of the major political parties so you know, maybe, maybe let's, let's explore what are some other options. Should I spoil my ballot, which many people have, uh, have suggested as if that is to accomplish anything. Um, a lot of people want to, um, 
want to vote for the, you know, strategically they call it. So basically we, they just keep voting for the same two parties over and over again. I don't like that. Um, so I feel like if I was going to vote that I would want to vote with my conscience and I would vote as if this vote determines the course of society for the next however long time. So, uh, I, I want to see what my options are. So, uh, I've, I've got a guest coming in who, um, is, is going to, hopefully we'll have a nice conversation and I will, uh, I will learn some information that I did not previously have. I've got some, uh, I've got some questions that I would like to have answered. So, um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to this, uh, this very special guest who I just emailed to confirm that they were still, uh, they were still coming tonight. As far as I know, nine o'clock on uh, local FM, 107.3 FM, in fact, or uh, local FM.ca, it'll for sure be airing in those two venues. I am going to attempt to do a live video stream, but um, I am not confident in the process. Um, I should have gone into the radio station earlier this week and uh, made arrangements to figure out the, the mechanics of that. So I'm going to go in a bit early and see if I can hopefully just plug my webcam into the radio station computer and uh, figure out which buttons to press on the radio station soundboard so that the board feed goes into the computer and out to StreamYard to you all. So if, and again, the angle as to where I'm going to set up my, uh, my webcam so that you can see both of us because we're facing each other, so it's not ideal. So anyway, I'm going to try to figure it out. But if that doesn't work, you can for sure listen to it at localfm.ca, assuming the website streaming is working, which I did not check. Um, local 107.3 FM on your dial if you're in the St. John area. And uh, worst comes to worst, you can listen to the audio version at uh, johnforward.podbean.com on Wednesday, assuming I have my act together and I put it out. Um, I, I didn't say who the guest was going to be, and I'm not going to, but uh, I've, I've, got a, I've got a teaser that, you know, this will this this will tell you who... Uh, who we've got coming on. So oh, we don't want to watch the vote party thing again. We already, that message came in loud and clear, but um, I will leave you with this, uh, with this short clip. Our children, not yours. Well, they are our provinces. Doesn't matter. They're no, they're not, no, the they're, not the children. Children. they're not the state children. They're not the state children. That is absolutely no, against everything. You are. You are absolutely. You are absolutely you're just need to have children you know of his own. You wanted home. to get you're me going, and you did because you are absolutely disgracing parental rights here. You are a human you rights are violator. You are. I'm a loon. Great comeback. Why don't you come with some philosophy? Why don't you come with something real? Instead of calling me names, why don't you be... Yes, personal liberty. That's what we're standing for. Freedom is what we stand for. You just said the state owns your children. Hey, excuse me. You stand back if you like. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. You got a mask. You're protected. You're good. You're protected. You're protected, right? You're good. Yeah. Oh, what I'm looking forward to is watching oh. your political perspective be utterly annihilated in the election coming up in a few weeks and the people who I are standing up for a genuine community. Yeah, community. yeah, because you got 1.6 billion of our dollars going freedom. to CBC. You just said the state owns your, your children. Hold on, hold on. We're out of here. Well then, so uh, that's, a, that's a little teaser for tonight's show. Again, um, I'm going to try to live stream it. I don't know if it's going to work, but you can for sure check it out on uh, 107.3 FM in St. John, localfm.ca on the internet, or the Podbean feed in a couple of days. Anyway, you'll be hearing from me later tonight. It should be a good one.